Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm here with an Amethyst Mining Guide for Old School RuneScape and my Endless Adventure to make as many guides as possible. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Helps the video, helps the channel a ton. Would appreciate it greatly. But with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So to start for the requirements and recommendations, the only requirement is going to be 92 mining. That is going to be a level necessity to be able to get Amethyst in the first place. Beyond that, there are a lot of different armor recommendations that can do small little things for you. So the first two are the Varrock Armor 4 and the Expert Mining Gloves. The Varrock Armor allows you to get 10% chance of double ore. And the Expert Mining Gloves allow you to get a 25% ore retention on the Amethyst Ore. Basically, whenever you deplete the ore, there's a 25% chance that it can stay. And so you can mine two, three, four, however many amount of ore from the same spot, which is really nice and allows you to AFK a little bit longer. Then the next two are the Celestial Ring and the Crystal Pickaxe plus Elven Signet. The Celestial Ring allows you to get a plus four mining boost. You can get this through doing the Shooting Star minigame. I don't yet have a guide on that, but in the future I will. And along with that, the Crystal Pickaxe and Elven Signet allows you to get better rates. However, it consumes Crystal Shards, which are kind of a pain to get. So not necessarily something you'll be doing all the time, but something you could do if you desire to do so. For the hourly rates, you can get anywhere from 80 to 100 amethyst per hour, and it should be about 500 hours if you want to get the pet this way. Certainly not anything that would be all too easy, but it is possible. In addition to that, you can get 20k mining XP per hour and 400 to 500k GP per hour. That's at least at current rates. Currently, amethyst is sitting at 4.3 to 4.5k GP. Typically, it's a little bit lower, so it might be anywhere from 250 to 400 during a more normal time. But Amethyst hasn't been in the game too long, so it's hard to really tell how that plays out long term. As far as if it's worth it, personally, I think it's a very great method. I mean, you can AFK, which I am a big fan of. Also, you get a decent amount of GP and the mining XP is fine as well. And for how little effort you're putting into it, definitely recommend it if you're just doing it on the side with something else. Obviously, I wouldn't load up the computer, hop on RuneLight, hop on RuneScape, whatever you're getting on, and just go mine Amethyst and sit there and stare at the screen. That's terrible. But if you're doing something else and you want a little something to do on the side, this is very, very good. For the items needed, here we have the gear and the inventory. Really, I don't have to go through any of this. If you're 92 mining, you know what all these items are. And yeah, try to get them all, then we'll get there. So for mining Amethyst, we'll need to make our way to the mining guild. That's where it's located. So to get here, use the skills necklace teleport to the mining guild. Or you could also come here through the Falador area. Really not ideal, but if you have to, feel free. So... Use the skills necklace, run on down to the southwest, and then down here there will be two different mining areas for Amethyst, one in the south and one in the southwest, along with a bank right here that you can easily access. Really, the two different sides aren't all that different. This side tends to be a little less populated, however, as you can see right now, still a lot of people in there. To get in here, you need the Falador Diary completed entirely, so it is a, a bit of a sturdy requirement there. If you have that done, you can talk to Bologna over here, who is a key figure in the mining guild. She'll allow you then to walk on in there and continue to mine. She also has a shop that the items inside are purchased with unidentified minerals. So there's the mining gloves, the superior mining gloves. You also have a soft clay pack and a bag full of gems that cost unidentified minerals, which are something you get from mining within the mining guild. So you'll get those over time. Just make your way on over to whichever side you desire. And then from there, we can talk a little bit about the mining process. Really, it is very simple as you'll see here i'll chop away if you have a dragon pickaxe make sure to use a special attack every now and then get that extra little boost but as you can tell just takes a long time you really don't get a lot of these as i mentioned before 80 to 100 amethyst per hour so you're not going to be getting very many at all but they are very expensive and they are very useful for Ironmen as well in terms of making range equipment. As far as a helpful plugin that I'd recommend here, you're going to want to go with the idle notifier along with the rune light settings that I have here. So go ahead and make sure that your settings for those two rune light client features are as follows with mine. That will allow you to have a flashing screen whenever you go AFK and it gets you, you know, going a lot quicker here at Amethyst where you really don't know how long you're going to be AFK. It could be 15 seconds, could be a minute. Like you have no clue. So I don't have a full inventory yet, but we'll just play pretend and say I do. So when I get done with my inventory, I run on over to the bank, and from there, there is one little note that you're going to want to make. Uh, if you have a gem bag within your bank, go ahead and make sure that the placeholder is gone. And if the placeholder is gone, then click up here in the top right, fill your bank, and then every time you go and bank, you can press deposit inventory, and it will deposit everything for you. And then finally, Bellina, as we talked about before, not only can you buy mining gloves here, you can also combine 
combine your mining gloves through here and you can also then turn off the ability to get unidentified minerals if you don't need them anymore so that is going to do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like in addition to that if you want to see more videos like this as soon as we go live make sure to subscribe and i also have a discord clan chat twitch tons of different places you can check out myself and the community at down below with that said hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh peace